Hey, welcome back. Let's do some surprise building because that's, you know, we'd never do that here. Ever. Like ever. I hate building. It's horrible. No, it's fabulous. Let's do it. That's why you're here. This is a Lego dot set. This one's called the Cute Panda Tray, which is... Once again, I just don't, who names these things? It is a cute panda tray, but it's, uh, I mean, there's actually a, a version on here that's not quite as cutesy as the others, because I love me some kawaii style cute, but I also like things that are, I don't know, a bit more elegant. I don't know, can you call it panda elegant? They're so round and bally and fluffy. <laughs> anyway, this is 517 pieces. Most of them are gonna be teeny weeny tiny. $30 in Australia, which is you know, quite a sensible price, I think. And of course, you're gonna be able to get that cheaper if you can shop around. What do we got inside? We got all these bits falling out everywhere. Instructions instruction sheet yep and this one's got some inspiration stuff and advertising for other dot sets and then we got our decorating pieces so we got a lime greeny color we got light lavender orange oh we got some translucent orange dots as well some i don't even know what this color blue is like it it's not quite sand blue it's a light blue and black and white and a few little pinky corally bits for ears and noses and things and some teal pieces or turquoise pieces okay let's have a look let's have a look at how we're going to actually put this box together so so many of these i'm i must admit that i'm getting a little bit tired of the dots boxes because everything's a box shape right before you actually decorate it and that does make sense because then it is something that has got flat surfaces that you can remove that you can then do your creating on and that's the whole point of the dots but putting these boxes together is pretty in it's repetitive in fact actually i don't know why but the the lego digital instructions so in the instructions app itself is not it doesn't have gosh words i'm really struggling with them today it doesn't have the instructions for the actual build here for the box build it's only got the other little pamphlet with the inspirational ideas on it so maybe even the people who are uploading the instructions to the app decided we've built so many of these boxes by now we should know how to do it or maybe they had one job and they failed to do that that day well they got half of it done they did half of a job half of a job well done now we've got the box done <laughs> i was busy just rambling these are the little Patty poor feet on the front and I mean what am I saying I mean the box is pretty boring but putting just the little details on just makes it so cute and these are little arms on either side so this little panda actually let's get its head done <laughs> let's get its head on and it's I mean at the moment it's just black and white which is what a panda is but then we add all the color with our decorative pieces so that's gonna be fun and that's where you can be creative and you could just make your own decisions whatever you want to put on that panda that panda can be rainbow striped for all you you know if you choose it can be a goth panda it can be a panda with boogers hanging out of its nose your choice your panda your choice now this is its head and it's also a little box and it's going to go on top of our other bigger box but on the front creating the definition for the muzzle is that what you call it? like just the face part of the panda and then this is the this is the top we got some nice black panda ears but you can actually be creative with the face as well there are quite a few options in a little inspirational pamphlet of how you want to have your panda -y face and i want this this style one here you could use the little pink cheeks or the little coral colored round circles for the cheeks but i really like just this simple version with a little black nose little white cheeks and this one's got the turquoise pieces the heart quarter quarter pie pieces <laughs> to make like like it's chewing on bamboo i think or maybe those are the boogers <laughs> hanging out of its nose i don't know no i like to think of it as chewing on bamboo let's go with that so now we now we've got our box and it looks the panda just looks like it's lolling around in a hot spa or something let's get some color onto our panda and i'm going to use not all of these actually the design that i've chosen doesn't use these blue these is a little bit for the decoration but the main part is going to use these nice limey green colors and the turquoise colors to make kind of like bamboo shoots and then orange dots on the top this is a really pretty design this is one on the inspirational inspirational sheet and i liked it and i've just kind of riffed off it because i mean the idea is there you just then do whatever you want to do with it as to how high you want to make each of them and i'm just making the heights varying so it looks cool and then on the patty paws you got little toesies on the top little toe beans ah, and the little paws down the bottom that's so cute <laughs> those are really cute so that's the front pausey bit that's it but we're going to continue this design around the sides but i need to figure out because i can't quite see what 
Uh, let's put on the orange. No, hold on. This is, according to the instructions, this is. <laughs> the pore is moved around so that it's actually facing upwards. But I'm so directionally challenged. I'm trying to figure out. Because I think I'm trying to mirror image this, but I'm not sure. I feel like I've turned it upside down and roundabout. And this is. Yeah, so the turquoise bit's facing the front, and then the rest of the pores are these, this limey green colour. We need to put that back there. And that's going to go on the side. So that's going to be, yeah, pointing upwards. So the side pores are going to be pointing upwards. <laughs> I actually prefer them going down, like, lazing around in the hot tub. But this will do for now, and then I can always just adapt it later. You can, although, this set did not actually come, even though I've just used one, it didn't come with a brick separator. So, a bit dirty about that. If you want to, if you want to change this around, you have to already have a brick separator, or you have to sacrifice your fingernails, or your teeth. Never use your teeth. Don't use your teeth. I promise I don't use my teeth ever. That's a lie. I do use my teeth, so I should never make promises that are lie. But yeah, you should not. You really shouldn't because you, you, so, yeah, you don't want those sort of dental bills. All right, so we have got a really, really cute little bambooey pattern here that's going to go on this side with the paw sticking up in the air going, wee! <laughs> and then going to do something, I don't know, kind of, yeah, the same for the other side. So let's just take that off and magically, through the power of editing, get that done real super quickly. Nice. That's so cute. I, I just like these color variations. It's really nice. And then for the head of the panda, the picture here has got little flower, little florets. Little flowery bits on the side. So we're going to use the other colors that we haven't used already. Well, some of them. We're going to use the orange, the see-through orange uh, stud bits for the middle of the flower. And then these other colors, this pretty blue, whatever this blue is called. By the way, this blue also comes in a square as well, a square tile, which didn't currently come in that color in this shape before this set. Apart from the adhesive tile set, but it's in another dot set that was released at the same time as this. So dots are really good for getting lots and lots of different colors. It's really cool. So we're putting these flowers on this side here, and I don't know if I face them the right way, but they just look so pretty and colorful. And then let's just very, very quickly do the top of the head, because it's the same sort of idea as the as the sides. So just putting some flowers on the top. And yes, I could decorate the back, but I'm too lazy. This is, I mean, all you see is the front, and I'm just really quite dying to put my lollies in here. So this little panda can be the looker after of my lollies. You can shove anything you want in it. This is one of my favorite dot sets to date, just because of this particular incarnation of the panda. It's not too cutesy and the color scheme's really, really nice. All right, let me know what you think of the set in the comments. I, you know, yeah, I don't want to change this up. I really, really like it. <laughs> oh yeah, and do all those things. Subscribe, check back in for more videos because they're coming up soon and I will see you, yeah, then. <laughs> see ya, bye.